All right, my battery came. I did. I just did undo this. I haven't opened the uh, foam here, but uh, we'll pull this foam out. This is my battery I got. Tim got got it off of Amazon. So it's uh, 300 amp hours lithium. It's got a touch screen here and I haven't done anything. I just opened it. So I'm going to pull this out and I'll put a voltmeter on it and show it. So here it is out of the box and you get this with the terminals, little covers for the terminals and the manual. I haven't opened this yet. And uh, so let's just check this out. It's got a touch screen. Oh, look at that. So, uh, 73%. And you can toggle through the pages, I think. Gives you the temperature. Oh, and even the uh, individual voltage of the cells of each cell. All right, so that looks good. And uh, we'll be, I'll be hooking this up to my inverter here at the house and I'm gonna mess around with it and see how good it does, so. Okay, we'll throw my voltmeter on here and see if I can do this one-handed. And just to check, see how that compares. 13.3 and the battery says 13.34, 13.31, 13.35. three, four. So that looks good. And I'll probably put a charger on here and charge it up. So I got it hooked up to my charger. This is kind of just a cheapy charger. I think I, I think it was $62, $63 on Amazon. I just got several settings there for regular AGM and uh, lead acid. And then it's got regular lithium and then uh, lithium phosphate. But uh, yeah, it's putting out 15 amps. And then when you see the battery here, it shows what it's doing. Shows it charging and charging amps and the voltage. And then it shows how many hours until it's fully charged, four hours till it's charged. And it looks like those cells are balanced pretty close. They were closer until I started charging, so the management system is probably adjusting it. So that's it while we're charging, and then we'll do some tests here after a while, after it's charged. Here's the app. It's a pretty decent app. It basically shows the same thing as, as the screen here. I just turned this off, but uh, it even has the cell voltages down at the bottom. It's not too bad. Shows the voltage high, voltage low, and then uh, average right here. Same thing, shows how many hours until charged and remaining capacity. So it's not too bad. I'm pretty happy with it so far and uh, we'll see how it goes. I just thought I'd show that app. This is why I bought this battery. One of the reasons I bought this battery. There's only a few out there that have Bluetooth and uh, that allows me to not have to buy a shunt, which is another 150 bucks. Um, the shunts might be more accurate, I'm not sure, but I kind of liked having the Bluetooth in the, in, built into the battery, makes it a little more user friendly, easier. I have my battery all hooked up here, I'm outside, and uh, got it hooked up to my inverter, and I do have a 200 amp uh, fuse here, and we're going to test it for a little while, I haven't hooked it up, I haven't done this, so. This is a little heater that I have, and uh, so on the max it's uh, 1500 watts, and I believe on the 
think there's only two speeds. Yeah, there's a low and a high, and I think the low is 750 uh, watts. Uh, so we'll try this out, and uh, there's a little switch on the bottom of there in case you knock it over, it shuts off. But So we'll test this out and see how it goes. And these, I believe, are 20 amp um, outlets on the inverter. And I've yet to turn it on, and I'll show this. It says 100%, but when you go there, it says 298. And I, the first thing I did is you're supposed to charge this all the way uh, and then let it sit for 12 hours so the cells equalize. And they're, they're really close now. They're only like, what, 0.001 off? Maybe 0.002 volts off. So um, I'll turn the inverter on and then we'll see where we're at, see what this says. Just on standby and my heater's off. Turn that on. See what that says. It doesn't say anything yet. And then we'll go ahead, we'll turn the heater on low. Fan. Low. And the current is 63 amps. And then it gives you the time to empty, 4 hours, 44 minutes. So now it says 5 hours, 16 minutes. We'll toggle through here. And now it's down to 297 amp hours left. And on my phone app it said 298.5 before I started this. And it's 80, 85 degrees right now at 6.30 in the morning in Gilbert, Arizona. So we'll go ahead, we'll put this on high, and give it the full 1500 watts. Now we're doing 126 amps. Now it says two hours, 21 minutes till empty. Now I'm not gonna let this go all the way because I don't wanna, I don't wanna discharge it. Uh, so in the manual, one discharge is where you take it completely empty and then recharge it. That's one cycle time, and, and this is good. It says it for up to 5,000 cycles. And one of the selling points for me was they do use grade A automotive cells in here, lithium cells and that's what you want to look for. I noticed some of the chins, I was thinking about those, but they're not grade A. Uh, so, they say 2,000, I think they say two to 4,000 cycles. This says 5,000. And we're gonna let this run for a while and see what, where we're at. So it's been about 14 minutes right now and this is really warm because we're pulling 1500 watts and I can't hardly touch that terminal right there the negative isn't hot and the wire is not hot the wire is just a little warm but right here at the connection yeah, it's really warm right there so this fuse came broken <laughs> I have backups so that's why I'm using this one now the this just little protective is broken the fuse isn't broken um, I'm going to go ahead, so this would simulate the microwave. We're going to cut this back to low. So that's been 15 minutes. Uh, so let's see what our usage is. And it was still saying 5 hours, 15 minutes. Uh, let's see where we're at on the amp hours. Two, down to 278 on there. But wow, that's really warm. I have to make sure that there's nothing close to this in the RV. Now this has a, I have a, a container for this and I'll, I'll be cutting this wire and it, it uh, 
connects to the fuse box. It's a little fuse holder. And I'll show all that on my install. But yeah, that's pretty warm right now. But I'm not going to be running 1500 watts. So that would be a microwave for maybe, I, I don't know how run, much we run the microwave to heat something up. Maybe five, six minutes probably. Feels like it's cooling down a little bit. Boy, that terminal's really warm. And we're on low, so I'm guessing that's around 750 uh, watts right there. And we're at 277. And now we're up, it says five hours roughly till empty. And I'm gonna cut this off, I think, here. Uh, you get the idea. And that's still pretty warm. But, you know, we're not gonna be using it that, at that high of watts. Mostly just like TVs and charging phones on the outlets and everything, so, in the RV. All right, so that's my little battery test. Uh, not very scientific, obviously. And uh, again, don't do this at home. I'm not an electrician. So uh, take it easy, everybody. Uh, hopefully we can get this installed. All of my stuff is arriving. Hopefully uh, in the next three or four weeks I can have this done. Talk to you later.